elementary teachers, let's grow food gardens with your class. If you've been following me by now, you should have the list of seeds that I recommend for growing in schools. If not, there's two ways you can get it. Go on the link in my bio and you can find it there for free or you can go and grab your spot on the School Gardens with East 2024 free webinar. And one of the things I give you there is also the seeds list, plus a lot more. Now, when you have the list of seeds, you have to figure out the timing for you, for your growing zone. I have videos on that here. You can go and find it. You also need to know which of those seeds to grow outside, right directly in the garden, and which ones you need to start as a seedling indoors first. There's videos that I have in here on that too. Go and find them. But today I want to talk to you about the one and only technique that if you're a teacher in a school and you're growing with your students, that's the one and only technique of growing seedlings in the classroom that you should use. I mean, you should not do anything else. And that's sub irrigation. Now, as the name suggests, it means watering from below. And it might sound, you know, complicated. And you might think to have a system like that, you have to have to spend a lot of money and have experts coming and put it together for you. No, that is not the case at all. I'm all for learning through hands on experience. And I'm also all for saving money. Your students can put together these sub irrigation systems all by themselves in no time with very inexpensive material while learning a ton and having lots of fun. I have a complete guide on it that I will also give to those who register for the School Gardens with Ease 2024 webinar. Now, why the sub irrigation system? Because as teachers, it would be the understatement of the century to say that you're busy. And with the attention span that the young kids have these days, it would be very wise to assume that they are forgetful. Having a garden that needs watering every day is not a good idea. Sub irrigation significantly reduces your watering chore. I mean, from every day down to maybe even once every two weeks. Plus there will be no underwatering or overwatering if done right, which helps you avoid major disappointments. This makes a huge difference. Now, again, if you join the School Gardens with East 2024 webinar, I'll give you the guide for free, but I don't want you to go and join the webinar to get the guide for free because the guide is just like, I don't know, $15 on my website. It's not very expensive. I want you to go on the webinar because not only I'll give you the guide and the seeds lists and all that, I'll give you my two-phase, complete two-phase plan for growing a lush, beautiful, producing sustainable for years, like utilized for years, school garden, not like all the other school gardens that are utilized for one year and then abandoned forever. And you'll get to learn how to do one of those school gardens with ease while you connect it to your curriculum, while everything is done by your students. It's just amazing. Go grab your spot on the webinar, School Gardens with Ease 2024.